which is basically we'll be creating a function to deal with um, processing and showing um, content that is written in between a short code with a starting and an ending tag and patching that out with what was done in the last tutorial which is creating the basic short code with attributes so last time we added a hook to create a short code called copyright disclaimer and deal with processing everything through a function called copyright shorts which is written here and I'm just going to be continuing on and adding to this to allow content to be processed through so this is what the short code currently looks like but after the end of this tutorial it will look like this and in between the starting and the ending tag we will have content which will pass through when written in the short code and put it in the return which is the text that swaps out the short code so not much is needed for this cost all that all you need to do is basically add an extra parameter to the copyright shorts function and just reference the content as a variable so all you need to do is add the second variable content and WordPress will automatically know exactly what is the content in the short code because it will process it through the hook and this just needs to be set to null by default which means if there's no content there then it knows to leave that variable empty but if there is content there then it will put the content into that content variable so that's all that's needed to be done to work with a variable with the content in it inside this function it just needs to be passed or mentioned somewhere in the return so I'm just gonna put content and the content I want for this specific short code is just a small disclaimer about what will be happening with content sharing so on this specific page I just want to put a warning in red text underneath this text that's already here that just says this content will be also shared with databases we have access to but will be applicable to the same licenses so to do this I'm just gonna put the content in a paragraph tag and set it to color red and just surround the content with paragraph tags the opening and closing and that's all that's needed to be done now we just need to write the content in between the tags so I'll just save that so just to change this we'll just change it from a single opening tag to an open and closing shortcode tag which is just writing it without the attributes and putting the forward slash in front of the actual name of the tag and then in between the opening and the closing writing the content so this will just be the small privacy statement so this content will be shared to multiple databases we have access to will be under the same policies. Spelt policies wrong. <laughs> and just for a full stop. So if I just update this, ignore that it's asking me to log in again to do it.
So I'll just repeat what I've done again. Since it's unfortunately not remembered that I've already logged in. So just again, duplicate the tag, get rid of the attributes and put the forward slash in front of the name. And put the content in between. So this content will be shared to one. Databases and will covered by the same policies. Ignore the bad spelling, just correct it. Full stop. Update again. And now it should be working correctly. And as you can see, it now adds the content, which is this red line. And since it's in a paragraph tag, it just puts it underneath the existing content, which isn't surrounded by any specific HTML tags. And that that's as easy as it is really. It's it's much simpler than adding the full short code implementation. It's just simply an extension of the code that was already written. But even if you don't want to use the content, you can still use it as a single tag. It's just obviously you won't be able to use content. So if I just update this, just copy and paste that statement for later. You can see it's now disappeared and it's back to where it was before even though we still have the option of putting content in the short code it's just it's not necessary as it will set it to null which means there'll be no text but you've also got to be a bit careful with that because if I just use dragonfly which is basically like firebug just wait for it to load up and if I go to where you can see the text. You can also see it's still producing the HTML for where the content is supposed to be. So that's just got something you've got to consider and possibly write a function around dealing with that if you don't, if you definitely want content to be there or some way of avoiding using HTML tags if there is no content. So I'm just going to paste back in to the point of where we wanted to keep it. And you can see it's back to normal again, so you can just switch between between the two on any post or page and it should work fine but apart from that that's all there is to the content and that's it for our short codes for now